Hello and welcome to this session. I am Elder Small where and I'd like to thank you for this few moments, this brief time we'll spend together when I will review uh, chapter nine of my book, You Deserve More, which is entitled Consciousness. And so <clears throat> in my last session, um, I discussed the evolution of the brain, which occurred in three stages. The first stage was the reptilian brain stem. Then that was followed by the primitive mammalian midbrain, which includes part of the limbic system. And then finally, we have the more developed cortex of mammals and the partially developed neocortex of modern human beings. Studies have shown that neuromelanin is present in all three brain structures, extending from the brain stem to the ne neocortex. Neuromelanin is highly sensitive to subtle electromagnetic activity. It can absorb and interact with light. And as a result, it is theorized that neuromelanin is a conductor of consciousness. And while most of us are familiar with skin melanin, neuromelanin consists of similar attributes. Neuromelanin, the pigment or melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color is more visible in dark skinned individuals than in others reflecting its presence in the skin. Neuromelanin on the other hand, <clears throat> neuromelanin on the other hand is uh, a fundamental structural phenomena found in all individuals, transcending ethnic, racial, religious, or even historical context. There are forces uh, within the earth that scientists study under the category of geodynamic forces. In these studies, it is theorized that the Earth's geodynamic forces interact with the brain stem in human beings. The neuromelanin track in the brain stem subliminally detects the Earth's geodynamic torque. Uh, Dr. Bynum helps us understand this when he states, <clears throat> and I quote, Beyond the brain and the brain stem, this melanin is represented in ample amounts in our internal organs, especially on the skin surface of our organs. So not only do we have melanin on the largest organ of the body, the surface skin, but also our hearts, lungs, kidneys, and gastrointestinal tract are all contained in a structure bounded by skin. Melanin is able to transduce or shift energy from one state to another, from vibration to sound to heat to light. Since all forms of energy are related to each other, it is not difficult to see that the subtle energy field of the body, which is referred to in the esoteric traditions as the energy body, the etheric, etheric body, the light or luminous body, and so forth, it is connected to an energy field that may partially be generated by the bioelectrical capacities of melanin in and on the surface of our inner organs. This is partially why we believe that the sensitive nervous system can detect geodynamic, geodynamic forces arising from within the earth, end quote. And so melanin acts as a superconductor by interacting with electromagnetic energy. It is a frequency that has a wave nature which enables it to connect with light because light has a wave nature. Uh, furthermore, melanin is a biochemical substrate which makes it a physical substrate that is present throughout our bodies. It is something that we can see, touch, and examine. And because it is woven 
into the electromagnetic field, it is a gateway to higher dimensions, which facilitates our ability to vibrate within the spectrum of light, making it one of the templates of our light or energy body. Uh, human beings have been indoctrinated into the belief that the earth is simply a surface upon which we live and breathe, but the earth is much more than that. It is embedded in uh, in the wider heliosphere or solar system. And as I'm sitting here speaking, our solar system is traveling through the galaxy and interstellar space, interacting with various forms of matter and energy. In the Earth's core, there are powerful gravitational and electromagnetic forces that connect with the energy emanating from inter interstellar depths of the cosmos. The same interstellar energy influences all forms of life on Earth's surface and those beneath the surface as well. In each layer of the Earth's surface, light absorbing melanin is found in all forms of life. The melanins are pigmented organic biopolymers found in significant amounts in, in, in the biosphere, in the lithosphere, and the atmosphere, and further out into the local cosmos. Our whole world is alive and radiant with interconnected life and information. It is an emanation of pure consciousness. Melanin, like perception and the mind, are attributes of consciousness, which are all portals of the life force. Uh, in in Kemet, it was called the, the, the snake power or or, or Shikim, or in, in India, it's, it was referred to as Kundalini. Uh, Barbara Han Kao informs us that we have iron in our blood, and that because we have iron in our blood, we are wired to vibrate with the earth. Our blood pulses with the earth core crystal because it contains crystalline iron components. The Earth's core resonates at 40 hertz or 40 pulses or vibrations per second, which sends electromagnetic waves into the second and third dimensions and beyond. The point here is that human, as human beings, we vibrate with the pulse of the Earth, which aligns us with all other beings, including light beings existing in higher dimensions. Uh, from the crown, uh, which is located at the top of our head, down to our root chakra, which, is, which exists just below our genitals, exists the flow of intelligent energy. Uh, from the tops of our heads to the soles of our feet, we consist of intelligent energy. We consist of intelligent energy. That cannot be uh, overexpressed. Uh, likewise, beginning with the brainstem to the sensory and motor cortex to the wider cosmos, we also have a light body surrounding our physical body, which is composed of intelligent energy. We look in the mirror and we see an image of ourselves. In essence, we have many bodies, each one enfolded or embedded in the the one more subtle, the 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 the, the one that's that's that vibrates higher. Uh, that's more subtle than the next, so to speak. Uh, the light body or informational body surrounding our dense physical body facilitates our interconnectedness with higher dimensional energies. It is a link in the chain of consciousness. Uh, many people think or tacitly believe that human beings have souls, but they have not been taught how to interact with their souls. 
the reality program currently dominating politics, religion, and education subliminally fosters doubt and apprehension regarding matters of the soul. In effect, the soul has been usurped by political education and religious indoctrination and dogma. The powers behind the false reality program play on sensory perception, which is possible because the soul is embedded in a dense physical body and can therefore be dominated by the five senses. Uh, the connection of the mind or the construction of the mind is pure intelligence. It is the work of intelligent consciousness. Uh, therefore, the goal of life should include embracing intelligence and intelligence is a gateway to reality and the true essence of life. Uh, when the body, brain, senses, and ego are subdued by the soul, we as spiritual beings having a human experience become free to move about in higher dimensions, which the sages liken unto a different world. The higher dimensions have they have been explored using meditative sleep, shamanic journeys, as well as near-death experiences. We are intelligent beings and we have all it takes to assimilate oneness, unity, and immortality from which we, Mother Father Earth, Mother Nature, and the universe are derived. And so let me stop there and grant that you may experience the greatest good and supreme intelligence in your life. Uh, I say... Do a whole tap.